Hello, hello there, dear viewers. Welcome back to our channel. Today we have brought to you folding stool design ideas for your inspiration. This video contains a collection of beautiful, historic, and modern folding stool design ideas which you can copy and duplicate at your own workshop. You can pick your favorite design and try to make it at home or show it to your local workshop so that they can make one for you. You can even turn these plants or designs into a lucrative small scale manufacturing business with a small initial investment on basic tools and materials. So watch the video until the end and choose an inspiring design for your next project. If you are new to the channel and if you like what you see, please consider subscribing to the channel and smash that notification bell so that you will be the first one to be notified when we upload new videos. If you are already a subscribed member, please like and share this video so that it could reach a wide range of audience. A folding stool is a type of folding furniture, a light, portable stool that folds flat or to a small size and can be stored in a stock, in a row or in a cart. It can be combined with a folding table or other similar furniture. Folding stools are generally used for seating in areas where permanent seating is not possible or practical. This includes outdoor and indoor events such as camping, college graduations, religious services, sporting events and competitions. Folding stools are also used in the home for any situation requiring extra seating. This includes parties, card games, and temporary seating at the dinner table. Folding stools and folding chairs are used synonymously for generations. When we look at their history, folding stools were used as a seating in the Mediterranean area in the 15th to 13th century BC. The stools were also used as a grave goods in the richest graves. A folding chair of ebony and ivory with gold fittings was found in Tutankhamun's tomb in Egypt. Folding chairs were already used in the Nordic Bronze Age, ancient Egypt, Menon, Greece, and ancient Rome. The frame was mostly made of wood and seldom made of metal. The wood was inlaid with artistic carvings, gilded and decorated with ivory. In Northern Europe, the remains of more than 18 folding chairs are known dating back to the Nordic Bronze Age, such as the Jensen folding chair and the Guldorj chair found near Vamdrup, Denmark. The folding stools became especially widespread during the Middle Ages. It was treasured as a liturgical furniture piece. They are portable and easy to use. In the United States, an early patent for a folding chair was by John Cram in 1855. In 1947, Frederick Arnold created the first aluminum folding chair with fabric strapping for the seats and back. By 1957, the Frederick Arnold Company of Brooklyn, New York was manufacturing more than 14,000 chairs per day. Folding stool legs can be bought to fold either under the seat or at the seat. Most folding stools pivots at the seat level. The seat aligns between the supports. The back support and the front legs are the same part. There are, however, several designs that fold under the seat. Side X stools consist of two X-shaped pieces with a sheet of clothes between them that becomes the seat. Front X chairs are similar to the side X tools but have the addition of a backrest. 
Side X chairs are unique because they support for the brackets and the front foot is the same part. The seat is collapsed to align between the side bars, either down between the front legs or up to align between back side bars. Mechanisms vary, but the support for the back and the front feet are invariably the same part. The best definition we could come up with a camping chair is a collapsible, foldable or inflatable seat with back rest which you can use in various outdoor settings. There are many kinds of chairs which can be called camping chairs which differ greatly in size and style. The only common characteristics to all camping chairs is that they can be made smaller for the purpose of transportation. These chairs are generally meant to be used outdoors, in gardens, parks, countryside, beaches, or in tents. The North Americans distinguish between backpacking chairs and camping chairs. In the United Kingdom, backpacking chair is not a frequently used term. According to some literature, until the 19th century, the chair designs we feature were not developed for camping as such. Most of them were made for use during military campaigns, as well as being used as garden chairs or inside homes for sedentary tasks. These liter literatures also indicate that the oldest known folding stool was created in Mesopotamia, which is modern-day Iraq some 4,500 years ago. 500 years later, this stool was found to have been used by the Egyptians. A few fold-up stools were discovered in Tutankhamun's tomb by archaeologists. These stools were made from two square-shaped wooden frames that were connected in the middle forming an exostructure. Tutankhamun's ceremonial throne, which was also found in the tomb, is the oldest ancient folding chair with backrests we found. Egyptian folding stools contained a stretcher fabric or leather to sit on. Today's versions consist of a foldable aluminum frame with polyester fabric stretchers. Egyptian style folding stools were also used 3000 years ago in territories where Germany and Denmark now are. Ancient Greeks borrowed many furniture designs from the Egyptians, including the folding stools. The Greeks, who had more timber available to experiment with, redesigned the Egyptian stool, naming their version Diphoros stool. Ocladas or Oikos meant home and family in ancient Greek. This suggests that the stool was often used at home for sedentary tasks or as general mobile furniture. Most surviving Diphos Ocladas are ornamental with the stool legs often resembling animal legs.
The Greeks are credited with creating a first three-legged stool. While they had highly sophisticated park chair designs for use indoors, it appears that Diffros or Clytus were never updated to a chair with back support. Oh, those Romans! What have they ever done for us? Well, apart from viaducts, concrete sanitation and other unimportant things, they were the first known nation to create affordable metal stools. Advances in metal technology meant that metal fold-up chairs could take up less space and could be used in wet conditions for longer periods of time compared to the wooden options. These chairs are thought to have been used by the officers of the Roman army in the 4th and 5th centuries AD. During the medieval period, the Caesar's chair gained popularity. These chairs were more elaborated versions of the folding stools, including back support and armrests. The seating area could be made out of wood, fabric or a leather stretcher with sheepskin or a pillow placed on top of the wood only version to make it softer. This chair was often used during military campaigns in church and the sedentary craftsmen such as weavers. It then gained popularity as a garden chair in the 18th to 19th century. It was one of the predecessors of today's camping chairs. Joseph Beverly Femby was a British inventor who, amongst other things, invented a foldable chair that goes by the name of the Femby chair, but became widely known in Europe as an officer's chair or camping chair. He designed in 1855 and patented only as late as 1881. It was manufactured by an Italian company in Tripoli, Libya under new name Tripoliana. The Fembi's design uses hinge mechanisms to create a chair that can be folded into sections with the fabric attached to the wooden structure in four of its corners. Nigo flycatcher and a snow pick thick bamboo long chair are slightly modified versions of the Fembi chair. In the late 19th century, Anderson Safari chairs gained popularity. Modeled on the Egyptian Etruscan folding stool but with an added backrest, these chairs were used in expeditions and various military campaigns as well as for general garden and camping use. This classic design is most familiar to us today as the director's chair in the film industry. During both wars, British troops, among other designs, were using foldable chairs made out of canvas, wood, and metal. They were easy to erect and had a more upright angle compared to the reclined Fenby chairs, making them a better choice for performing tasks such as writing. During the World War II, 
plywood folding chairs based on the John Crumb's design were used in the U.S. Air Force's briefing room. Use of aluminum consumer goods gradually grew after World War II. Most chairs designed for camping were made from polyester canvas and sliding aluminum or steel tubes which are connected by plastic joint parts and rivets. The British Army folding chair is the same design that can be purchased in camping shops these days. In the last decade, the range of folding stools and chairs has gradually diversified. Notable trends include increase of ultralight models. Lighter and stronger materials have enabled the creation of very lightweight, functional and comfortable camping furniture. What's next for the folding stool? Change is the only constant we can predict. Humans are restless creatures. Companies compete and keep innovating. People's desire to use functional, comfortable and lightweight stools and chairs is not going to go anyway, to go away. Building your very own folding stool is not as complicated or as difficult as it looks. There are several designs you can follow along. You can use readily available materials at your disposal. You can choose any of these readily available folding stool designs and tinker around to determine your dimensions and decide on what materials to use. There are unlimited sources of designs and inspiring ideas for folding tools, stools throughout the internet. With such a variety of options, there are no limits to folding stools and their design potential. They can be made budget friendly or highly expensive based on the design and materials used. As you can see in the video, we have compiled a number of interesting folding stool design ideas for your inspiration. Some of these designs they have their own dimensions, clearly showing you and indicating the seat height, the width of the seat and so on. And you can directly copy and use these designs to make your own pieces of furniture. The rest of the designs Although they are without dimensions, you can simply figure out what dimensions suit best for you and follow along. Among the designs shown here, which design is your favorite design and why? Let us know in the comment section. By now, you know that our channel is full of inspiring videos which contain easy to follow furniture design projects. If you like such content, 
please consider subscribing to our channel if you haven't already and also smash that notification bell so that you'll be the first one to be notified when we upload new videos. Thank you for watching until the end. We look forward to seeing you in our next video. Until then, stay safe and stay blessed.